Hey everybody, Jason here again with the GDT Basics video question line. Today's topic is profile on sheet metal. So the question that was submitted is this part is tooling controlled and made of steel, so the material naturally wants to go back to flat. So these forms will never be in a true position 100% of the time. So how do I report this? And is this a dimension the customer should be putting a tolerance on? I believe the reason for the box dimensions are that the height of these forms are fairly critical to their process. So let's take a look at this drawing submitted by the student here, and we can see the uh, face of three surfaces are establishing datum feature A. And we're controlling two other faces, specifically in this view at least, with profile of a surface of 0.05 with respect to datum A. And we can see we have two basic dimensions here, identified with the red X's next to them, telling us where those surfaces should be. So it's the classic case of the basic dimensions don't have tolerances because they tell us where the surface should be at ideally. They're giving us the target where we center the zone for profile of a surface on. So if we're going to inspect this part, we're simply going to establish datum feature A. Now this is a little bit hard to simulate manually, but we can see we have this part here and these three surfaces are used to establish our datum plane. So not this surface alone, or this surface alone, or this surface alone, but rather all three of them simultaneously will create a single plane. And then we're going to check where this surface is and this surface is with respect to that datum plane. And we know where those surfaces should be because we have basic dimensions identifying their true profile. Now, if we're going to inspect this, let's take a look at the datum setup simulation. So we have this simple setup here. We have three machinist jacks, and we have the part sitting on top of those three machinist jacks. And why we have a machinist block on top of these three surfaces is because it allows us to level datum feature A to the granite table. And we get to use all three of those surfaces simultaneously. So if we set this 246 block on top of those three surfaces, and then we level this top surface to be perfectly flat and parallel to the granite surface, which is our inspection plane, we know that when we set that up, the plane established by the three surfaces for our datum feature A is going to be parallel, and then we can zero our indicator right on that surface specifically. So now we have leveled this surface to the granite table. It's parallel to the granite table. We've zeroed our height gauge off on that plane. And now we can make sure that this surface and this surface are exactly where they need to be in 3D space. And that's establishing a zone that's 50 thou or 50 microns, if this is a metric drawing, uh, across in width. So our zone looks like this, 0 0.05 in width. Now, as long as any element on this surface or, or any element on this surface are within 0.25 plus or minus half this value or total zone of that value, this surface has met specification. So if this is our datum plane established by our three surfaces and this surface is right here, all of the elements that make up that surface have to be inside this zone centered at 0.25. So it's essentially like saying 0.25 plus or minus 0 0.025, giving us a total zone of 50 thou or 50 microns. That means we are controlling both the form of that surface because all of the elements need to be inside there. We are controlling the orientation of that surface because all of the elements need to be inside there. And we're also controlling clearly the location of that surface vertically up and down as well. And we're going to control all of those. And that's why profile of the surface is such a powerful control. We can control location, orientation, and form as long as that entire surface is inside that tolerance zone. And that's true for both surfaces. That's just saying this bottom surface needs to be 0.75 plus or minus 0 0.04, since this is 80 microns, with respect to datum A, which is the plane established from those three surfaces. So again, to reiterate, how we inspect this is we're just making sure that all of the elements that make up these individual surfaces fit inside their respective tolerance zones of 0 0.05 and 0 0.08 centered at 0.25 and 0.75 respectively. So hopefully that helps answer your question. We are controlling the location, we are controlling the orientation, and we are controlling the form. 
full knowing that those surfaces won't be perfectly located, they won't be perfectly oriented, and they won't have perfect form either. Even though they're still sheet metal, there will be some deformation, some flatness air to that surface. So thanks for submitting your question, and hopefully this helped clarify some things. Our goal is to be your best source for gd and information online. It's important to us that everyone involved in engineering and manufacturing have the chance to learn and better understand gd and on your prints. We have many free resources to help you get started on your learning journey. Subscribe to our gd and community using the link in the description below or visit our website. Test your knowledge with our gd and and print reading quizzes. Download helpful charts and access articles